I'm Trish, I'm a self-taught artist and today I would like to share with you my tutorial on how to paint a 30 minute masterpiece. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial done in real time. It's super easy to follow. This piece is called Stillwater Reflections and in this I've portrayed the calmness that can be had by viewing water and sunlight. Art supplies you will need include a selection of brushes, a one inch flat brush, a size four fan brush, a size one round brush, a soft haired mop brush, a diamond shaped palette knife, a long flat palette knife, a natural sponge, some masking tape, a square canvas, acrylic paints including titanium white, hookers green, emerald green, sap green, lemon yellow, medium yellow, ultramarine blue and lamp black, a stay wet palette, an optional extra is an A3 drawing board as shown in this video. A top tip at this point is a little bit of preparation. Prepare your materials by taking them out of the packaging and set up your stay wet palette as per the instructions. You will also need a jar of clean water. Step one, firstly, using the masking tape, mask all four edges of the canvas. This will secure the canvas and give you a nice border. Step two, next apply some titanium white paint directly onto the canvas. Using a wet one inch flat brush, spread the paint until it coats the whole canvas. Step three, now apply small dots of ultramarine blue paint in each corner. Apply this straight from the tube. Blend into the white base coat using the same one inch flat brush in backwards and forwards motions along the top edge of the canvas. Step four, repeat this at the bottom of the canvas. Then rinse, wipe and dry the brush. Step five, apply lemon yellow dots of paint again straight from the tube. Then blend in the same backwards and forwards motions using the cleaned one inch flat brush.
Step 6. Now for the first layer of the horizon and tree line. Apply the hooker's green in dots in a line across the centre of the canvas. Space the dots approximately one inch apart. Step 7. Now using the natural sponge in a soft dab in motion, spread the paint along the central line. Dab in random heights as these will be your trees. Remember, no two paintings are the same. Have fun with this part, experiment. It's a wet on wet technique, so the colors will start to blend. Step 8. Now apply some emerald green paint in small dots along the same central line. Apply them straight from the tube every one inch across. Step 9. In the same way, straight from the tube, apply two dots of sap green in the centre of the canvas. Step 10. Now using the same natural sponge, blend these colours in soft dabbing motions. Step 11. Now, using the mop brush, tap the canvas at the very edge of the green colours along the top of the tree line. This will soften the blend of the colours and create texture. Step 12. With more tapping motions, blend the paint from the horizon line from the middle of the canvas upwards. This will create more texture and the illusion of depth to your tree line. Step 13. Using the size 4 fan brush, place along the centre line and pull the paint downwards using very little pressure. This creates your reflections.
14. Using the 1 inch flat brush, clean and dry, blend these reflections from one edge at a time working towards the centre of the canvas. Step 15. Now apply two dots of lamp black acrylic paint to the horizon line. Blend this by dabbing using the same natural sponge. This black will blend in with the dark hooker's green to create the base section of your trees. Keep the dab in motion to the central line. Step 16. Using the fan brush again, pull the paint downwards from the horizon line, add in to your reflections. Step 17, now add in some details. Using the edge of the diamond shaped palette knife, apply a full horizon line by scraping it along the centre of the canvas. This part of the video shows you how to put the paint onto the palette knife. Step 18. Using the same technique, place vertical lines along the horizon line to create your tree trunks.
step 19. Now, using the diamond shaped palette knife, scrape some of the black paint downwards from the horizon line at the edges of the canvas. This will create the illusion of a river bank. Step 20. Using the edge of the long flat palette knife, apply the reflections in the water using titanium white paint. Have fun with these and apply as many as you like. Watch this section to see how to apply the paint to the palette knife. You can apply these reflections using scraping motions or dabbing motions with the edge of the palette knife. It's your painting, it's your choice. Step 21. Using a small, clean part of the natural sponge, apply a small dot of titanium white paint in the centre of the tree line. Step 22. Now using the size 1 round brush, apply a small amount of titanium white paint over the top of the sponge white area. This creates the light source for your reflections. Step 23. Mix a small amount of medium yellow and titanium white paint together to create a light yellow colour. Apply this using the same flat palette knife and scrape on using the edge of the knife. Step 24. Now it's time to remove the masking tape and leave your painting to dry.
enjoyed the video and have inspired you to have a go. Why not share your artwork with us by joining us on Facebook at Zila Art Supplies and joining our budding artist community page.